Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's episode of Laser Adventures we are going to look at a slight shortcoming of my laser and we're going to try to fix it. It has something to do with everything being slightly crooked. So, so let me show you what my problem is. Uh, when I laser something um, it comes out nice and uh, it is pretty much perfect uh, but if I flip it over so um, both the top sides are now against each other and I put it on the short the short edge that is um, the y-axis of the laser uh, you can actually see that the lines here are no longer true and it is absolutely annoying uh, because if I print something bigger like a box the box is not going to fit exactly and I guess I will have to take care of this now it's not going to be too hard uh, because I know that my y-axis is true um, but it appears that my x-axis is hanging to one side so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to uh, print print laser uh, two straight edges um, one on the top the other one on the bottom of a piece of wood and then I'm going to lay them on top of each other and because I'm using um, the entire available area to do it um, I will get a pretty good idea of the the absolute error that I have in my um, x-axis the only downside of this is um, once I fix that, I'm going to have to realign the lasers uh, because I'm going to change the angle uh, that the x-axis is now towards the y-axis. It should be 90 degrees, um, but quite obviously it's not. And um, if I change that for like 1 degree, um, the mirror only needs a change of um, half a degree uh, because that's just the way mirrors work you only have to align it or move the alignment of uh, half the angle that you're you're going in absolute so um let's get things set up uh let's make the two straight edges let's put them against each other and let's see how crooked this laser is um it wasn't as bad when it was new, uh, but I think it's basically just settling on this not 100% uh, flat floor. And uh, it could be that it had some tension when it came here, and that has just now basically disappeared, um, leading to it being um, slightly off by a few degrees. Um, it's not bad, I can still do a lot of uh, easy patterns, lasers, uh, uh, laser boxes or ornaments and they'll come out just fine. Uh, it's just as I did the um, the Amiga case for example, I was seeing this error uh, being more pronounced and, and of course yeah because the parts were a lot bigger and I usually align my parts uh, to the x-axis. Had I aligned them to the y-axis then the error would have been um, not as pronounced and, and probably even negligible but uh, let's try and get it fixed and then let's try and get it set up so this is the uh, big piece of wood that I've set up um, it is almost as big as I can go uh, with the laser and um, I'm just going to try and go right around the outside edges and uh, just make these two straight edges uh, we'll basically line them up on the y-axis and uh, i will mark the top side i will mark them with numbers top one will be number one bottom one will be number two and i'll mark the top side so uh, we can find out um, what the difference is to the distance of the rail on the left side and on the right side um, once I've done this, I'm going to have to manufacture some sort of jig uh, just to make sure that I can um, that I can measure the 
the change that I'm going to make uh, because the way that the rails are inside of the laser it is almost impossible uh, to get a good measurement so I'm going to have to create some sort of jig uh, that I can just put against the rails at the edges and then open up one of the belts coming um, from the y-axis uh, stepper and and um, and just try open up one side and uh, just basically tilt the x-axis uh, either to the front or to the back on the left side and uh, that should take care of the error that we have um, with the x-axis um, after that I'm going to have to realign the laser I know that and I have done it before it was a pain and it's going to be a pain again I bet um, but I do have some experience now so I think it should it should be manageable um, yeah let's get into making this thing So the part is done and lasered and uh, just I just stand it up like this and make sure that the that the uh, um, that the y axis parallel parts are perfectly aligned and I've already clamped this and then you can see that uh, we're actually getting a very slight bit of mismatch here. And this here is the error over the entire laser. So I measured it. It is 2.2 um, millimeters. Whoops. Right here at the top. Um, that's the alignment error that I have, if you will. And the absolute error of the axis is only half of that. So it would be 1.1 millimeter um, error on one side of the uh, y-axis rails so the x-axis is crooked and since this here is a number one and we can see that it is actually higher than the one behind it uh, we can make out that this is that the right side needs to come down by exactly 1.1 millimeters and then uh, these ports should once again line up. Now I have no idea how I'm going to move this thing by just 1.1 millimeters uh, because there's the the cheap lasers don't don't have anything um, where you can do an adjustment like that. Uh, but I want to get it right, of course. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make some sort of holder. Uh, let's open this up, where I can clamp one of the one of the sides. Let's get you a bit over here and focus. So what we need to do is we need to take this belt over here um, on the right side and uh, move it down uh, by 1.1 millimeters and then the whole x-axis is going to be uh, perfectly uh, at 90 degrees to the y-axis again. Uh, like I said, that is a very, very small error and uh, yeah I really have to think about how I'm going to do this um, maybe I'll just make two lines on the on the pulley that that moves the belt and just try to move the pulley itself and uh, if I move that by 1.1 millimeters on its 
uh, circumference it should be 1.1 millimeters on the belt as well so no idea how I'm going to accomplish this sheesh I thought the arrow was bigger than that honestly and uh, it would be easier to do so uh, let's power down everything and get more light and uh, try to dig into it okay I think I got it figured out uh, what you're seeing here is the belt tensioner on the left side and I can show you that my belt is well it could be tightened more and um, I don't know how to say this I think this is a real uh, design flaw uh, the belt tensioner that actually pulls on the belt uh, is on the side of the belt that is connected to the pulley so if I start tweaking here I am going to move the uh, the the gantry up on one side uh, while leaving it the same on the other side so I do have a little bit of um, of a possibility to um, to counter this 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 crookedness uh, by just tightening this part of the belt um, a little bit more and basically by by moving the screws in um, these 1.1 millimeters uh, that I need uh, the belt on the other side has way more tension so I think it could well be that uh, this belt slipped a little and that that was the reason why my whole setup became unaligned and um, if this works, uh, this would be a real quick fix. It really would be. And I could even loosen the other side a bit, making that side um, drop down a little bit so I could maybe let go of uh, 0 0.2 millimeters on the left side and tighten it just 0 0.8 on the other and then I should be pretty much perfectly aligned again with the X and Y axis really simple and what you can see here is uh, the mirror attachment <clears throat> of course I'm going to have to um, work on that to get the mirror uh, adjusted so it hits on the the laser head again yeah I think I'm going to try this out somehow and see if it actually changes the position if I tighten this or well actually I can just get you zoomed in and I can just start tugging on the on the thing and, and we can actually see that the that the whole gantry is moving up and it's moving by I'd say about two millimeters by me only just pressing down this little bit yeah let's see if we can work with that now I know this is a little bit hard to see uh, but this is the the better angle that I can get uh, this here well these are the screws to tighten the belt and on the front here I have a small piece of wood with a neodymium magnet uh, holding it down um, that is going to uh, make sure that I have the the same distance um, to the rail or to the to the block riding the rail all the time 
Um, I will be making the change on the other side, but I'm just showing it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in the screws, which is going to pull on this belt. Since this belt is directly connected uh, to the pulley at the stepper, it is going to pull up the gantry. And I'm not sure, I think this is, this is um, a design flaw, uh, because every time you tension the belt, you're basically ruining your your x-axis so you always have to make sure that when you start um, when you start your alignment uh, or when you start when you start tightening your your belts putting tension on them you must always open up the lasers alignment so the x-axis can't go out of alignment because if you're tensioning one side more than the other um, you'll be skewing your right angles on the x and y axis um, and you don't want that so I would have thought that the that the mechanism to uh, do the tensioning would have to be on the side of the belt that is not attached, that is not going directly uh, to the pulley that moves the axis because you, you do not want to mess with the length of that belt and you're doing that by, by tightening this thing here and on the other hand I'm probably going to have a very easy job um, getting the printer aligned if I just tighten the other side I will then probably have to open up all of the screws to get the blocks to settle again but at least that sounds doable and you don't have to take the whole laser apart okay so I know this is super hard to see I tightened the belt and it wasn't really that much of a problem. I gave these screws, their M4s, uh, two turns, which is about a millimeter. And now you can actually see that there's a small gap between this piece of wood and um, the block. I also opened all the screws on the blocks that I could get to, uh, just to relieve any strain that might have been building on them. Uh, but they weren't really tight. And you can now see that the that I do have some free movement um, between the piece of wood and the block. Um, I can move it even further by tightening the belt on the upper side and I can move it back and it will move back. And I measured, I'm at about a millimeter. Maybe not 100% but I'm really really close to that. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it right now. And uh, I'll check for the laser alignment now. And then I'm going to do another, um, another two straight edges and line them up and see if my problem has gone away or if it's better or if I need to do some more. Uh, yeah. So... It was kind of, I liked it that I could use the, uh, the belt tensioning mechanism to align the X and Y axis. Uh, at the same time, I think that is not so much of a great idea. Okay, so I updated to a slightly simpler uh, test pattern that should work too and use less wood. And uh, yeah, let's... Let's just burn that. Um, everything's set up. The air assist is running. We've got cold water, so here we go. And the laser's not turned on. Let's turn on the laser power supply and try again. Ah, uh, that's better.
Now this took a lot longer than I had anticipated. And in the end, I actually opened up one of the pulleys um, at the shaft from the stepper and uh, just moved that. But I made a ton of improvement. Uh, where do I start? So the first things that I was doing uh, was this. Just line this up. And you can see that I had at 60 centimeters, I had a ton of overlap. And uh, so I made an adjustment uh, and I did a test piece. I made another adjustment. I aligned the laser and made another test piece. So this here is the final piece that I have. And uh, as you can see, there's just a little bit of overlap on one side, uh, but it's about 0 0.2 millimeters. Uh, this is as good as I can get it. If I press this down really hard and uh, try to line it up, it, it's even less than that. Uh, but like I said, I am now um, up to the point where, where I can't get it any better. Uh, I might still try, uh, but it's it's so much work because you have to basically once you've modified this, uh, you have to realign um, your laser beam. And uh, this here was my last uh, piece of target practice. So one shot at all four edges of the table, and um, I came out pretty good. And I think that the, the lens is still pretty well aligned. I am going to test that, but I didn't change anything before, so I think I'm still good. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it, did, it did turn out to be a lot more work than I anticipated. Uh, if we have a look at the, at the pulleys. So, for each and every pulley, I basically had to do the same thing. Um, you can, you have access to the, uh, to the screws that are on the block, at least to, um, th two or three of them, and I opened those up. Uh, then I made my way to the, to the pulley on the left side, because that is just easier to get through. And, uh, it's the one, the one back here. And um, it does have two set screws. I opened those up. I made a little block um, so I could measure the difference at, at the rail itself. Gave it a turn um, of about, so I got a gap of half a millimeter, fastened it back, repeated the measuring process. And this took a lot of time. But in the end, I am pretty happy with what I have now. And um, now I can continue building stuff. And I know that uh, when I make something and I put it together, um, it is going to be um, with right angles where I need them. And that things that I put together are going to fit better. It wasn't that bad, uh, so for most of the machines that I was making that weren't so big, uh, I could get away with uh, with the parts that I had. Uh, but I was, but as I was getting bigger with the um, with the Amiga case, uh, it just showed. So I don't know if this is still from the factory. I suppose it may be because uh, the way that things look, um, they had to tighten one side of the of the belt way more than the other and that could have introduced that uh, that misalignment and um, like i said i don't i don't like the way that the belt alignment is uh, done uh i don't think that is well thought out it, it should be on the on the front side uh because you're actually changing the length between um between the gantry and the pulley uh, that pulls on the belt. So every time you tighten your belt, you're going to get your machine out of alignment. Uh, yeah, but apart from that, 
I'm kind of happy with the result. I used up most of the wood that I still had from making these uh, these little ruler things and um, in the end I, I got I went for this t-shape so it's 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 a T at the end and a really long um, a long neck uh, because you actually need the whole length of this piece to find out if you're aligned or not um, and this just turned out to be really a really wasteful step uh, but I'm happy that it's aligned now so uh, yeah this took a lot longer but I'm pretty happy with the result um, if anybody's ever done this and he, he has a good idea or if he has a suggestion how I can do it easier and better, I'd really welcome it. And of course the first changes that I was doing were in the wrong direction, so it got worse before it got better. But like they say, we do it right because we do it twice. So thank you very much for watching. Um, have a great time. Happy New Year. Um, we've just started 2021. I hope that everything gets better. Oh uh, yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.